NerdErotic.com. Jonathan Majors. So he is accused of hitting a woman, possibly strangling a fight over a phone. Not really sure. Wasn't there. There were witnesses. There might be a video which could exonerate the man. There also, I believe it was said that it was Jonathan Majors who called the police and not his girlfriend. These are all things I've read. I don't know if any of this is true. Uh, he was arraigned today. He was arraigned. Despite, I believe, the girlfriend wanting to recant. So innocent until proven guilty. We've seen way too many people canceled for absolutely nothing and their careers ruined. I do not want that to happen to this man if, it does, if he doesn't deserve it. I certainly hope uh, the... I hope everybody's okay. I hope the woman's okay. I hope John's okay. I hope this is just uh, an overblown argument and nothing really happened. That's what I hope happened. And I hope he continues on with his illustrious career and everybody from Ant-Man 3 can continue simping for him. It's still really bad for Disney, no matter what happens at this point, uh, considering they fired Gina Carano for posting um, a, a meme on Instagram that ended up being absolutely true uh and i never had a problem with it like ever jonathan majors charged with multiple counts of assault and harassment by nyc da well we know new york city da's are just stand-up guys stand-up guys who don't uh go get some grand juries to start man that just fell out of the news didn't it get some grand juries to try to put some charges on a certain form of president and then it turned out all to be bullshit. Yeah, New York City DAs, stand-up guys and gals. Uh, defense lawyer says there's no evidence proving actor is enti- uh, there is there is evidence proving actor is entirely innocent. Uh, updated Monday with more information from the Manhattan DA. Jonathan Majors' criminal defense lawyer is speaking out and claiming the Creed three actor and M and three actor Kang is innocent and has evidence proving his innocence. Uh, we are quickly gathering and presenting uh, uh, evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that the charges will be dropped immediately. Kadri, I think it's Kadri. I'm going to say it's Kadri. I'm mispronouncing that name. Said that the evidence includes video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver and others who both saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recanting these allegations. That's kind of important. I mean, like, listen, the, the cynic inside me says, well, the check cleared, but um, we don't know that. We don't know that, and we have to be fair. A preliminary investigation determined that the 33-year-old male was involved in a domestic dispute with a 30-year-old female. Uh, read the statement from the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information this weekend. The victim informed police that she was assaulted. Officers placed the 33-year-old male into custody without incident. Okay, so um, the cops back in the day did not take domestic abuse very seriously, and uh, they do now. They do now. So if there is as much as a scratch on somebody, somebody's getting cuffed, somebody's going to jail. Um you're all adults here. You understand, like, if your girl wants to see your phone, she thinks you're texting up somebody. I'm not saying this is what happened here. I mean, have a good password. I don't know. Or I don't know. Don't be cheating on your girl. That that might be. But, uh, yeah, you know, if she, if she does get the phone, like, just get the phone back without, uh, or try to get the phone back without, like, laying hands on a woman, which uh, nobody should ever do. Uh, the victim sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was removed to an area hospital in stable condition. Stable condition can mean a lot, but uh, I don't want to downplay that. And, and uh, like usually I'm not into this he said, she said stuff for, well, for many reasons. But usually truth comes out later and it ends up, you know, sometimes, yeah, it's bad. But sometimes it's all bullshit. So we don't know. Uh, after police uh, responded to the 911 call supposedly made by the Lovecraft County actor on Saturday night over an alleged domestic uh, dispute. Majors was removed from the residence by police. He was arraigned in front of a judge a few hours later. Prosecutors sought supervised release and a full order of protection, but the judge granted a limited order of protection and Majors was released in the early a.m. So, yeah, I mean, this could all just go away. Complaint uh, by the Manhattan DA, DA's, DA's office 
detailed the situation in the apartment in the city of Chelsea neighborhood. The, the, okay, that's, I'm just reading what it says here. The, the defendant strike her about the face with an open hand. I guess the AI hiccup right there. Uh, causing substantial pain and lacerations behind her ear. Ooh. Sad, uh, said the paperwork of the woman involved. She observed uh, observed uh, the defendant grab her hand, causing swelling, bruising, and substantial pain to her finger. The defendant put his hand on her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain. Because men and women are different. Uh, Jonathan Majors, I don't know how tall he is, but uh, dude, they're certainly in shape after Creed 3. Probably a strong guy. Don't know. It's bad. Like I said, hopefully this all gets worked out and it was just this overblown thing. But it's just another piece of bad news that Marvel doesn't need at all. Especially since Marvel Phase 5 and 6 are completely reliant on this guy. On this guy. Now, could they simply just recast? Sure. But not if he didn't do anything wrong. I think this will blow over. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. The big problem still remains, uh, it, it, and we talk about the pop culture here, is, well, I mean, like, domestic abuse is bad, but that's not what I'm going to get into. But you can say that and also acknowledge that this is a, probably not a very good description, a massive black eye for Marvel still, because most people are going to read the headlines. It depends on how the news cycle goes. Now, Marvel tried to, tried very discreetly to announce a show today. Because <laughs> they're desperate to change the news cycle. It's like, Disney Marvel, can you go a couple days without having something really bad happen? I'm trying to catch up. Think about me and my needs, okay? Secret Invasion. It's going to premiere June 21st. That means there's actually going to be about six or seven months. No, that's that's eight. Eight months between premieres of Disney Plus shows. That's almost like a breath. And I don't know what that does to Loki, because Loki was supposed to come out this summer. Secret Invasion was supposed to come out in the spring. Everything else was delayed. I forgot to mention that. Everything else was delayed. Marvel's is pushed down to November, which I'm sure they want to just put directly on Disney Plus, but they can't because they painted themselves into an identity politics corner. Yep, yep, yep. Big problems. Big problems. Um, and no, I'm not sorry uh, about the problems at Disney. They brought it on themselves. You know, John Wick 4 came out over the weekend. Did really well. Made tons of money for a two-hour and 49-minute rated R violent film. It was a beautiful violent film. Uh, I have a review on my channel. I freaking loved it. I loved it. I can't wait to see it again. Uh, I just did a John Wick marathon. I'm ready to do another. And yes, my, my kid's old enough. I'm going to take my kid to go see it. Can't wait. He's he's looking forward to it. And and you know what? That's just, it, it's a simple, it's a very simple action franchise that just entertains people. There's no stupid BS involved. There's no attacking fans. And they're reaping great rewards it really isn't rocket science, but apparently it is for Disney Marvel. See, when you have the activists hitch their wagon onto something successful because they can't make anything on their own, they can only destroy, it ruins everything. Nerdrotic.com, please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at Nerdrotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.